Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Okay, (laughs) so this has become one of my very favorite songs now, period, not just for Nightwish, I mean period, I love it. And I just joined Discord the other day, a Nightwish Discord, and they're like, dude, when are you going to do Ghost Love Score, all the versions? I think you guys want like 80 hours of it or something. (laughs) So I figured, yeah, you're right, I should. So I have reacted to a couple, and you'll see there'll be a couple missing from all of these reactions. Uh, You'll see them when I compile it together at the very end, but I'd already reacted to those, so I wouldn't be able to honestly say I'd never heard this before. So I'll add those later. Anyway, honestly, I haven't heard before the original version here from the album. It's obviously a perfect place to start. This is not a video. It's just the sound recording. I say just, right? This should be awesome. It's obviously Taria performing it. Let's do this together. Let's start at the beginning. Let's do it. so good in this this is a full orchestra i think that sounds like a timpani it's big it sounds so this is nice this is different than what i'm accustomed to if you watch my channel i do this all the time at vakin such a good performance when i bring guests on but this is neat Sorry, 
that means they doubled. That's what that means in Joel language. Did you hear? There, there is. There's a backing vocal there, which I believe is just Taria doubled, or uh, I don't know, doubled, but her uh, performing a back backing vocal. It's just coming in a little bit here and there.
few seconds here. That's my floor impression at the end there. Because I was waiting for the, what do you guys call it, the golden note. I loved this, man. There's a lot of different sounds going on here that I'm not accustomed to hearing in the Vakken performance, which I react to regularly. Uh, and also End of an Era, which I know as well. So what was neat here was that whole orchestra. Oh God, those drums sounded so, so good. The guitar and poo sounded really, really good right here. I liked it. It was just, it was a little bit different and yet so, so, so good. Tarya's vocals were amazing. I loved that double vocal. I thought that was very neat. It's a masterpiece. It's so well put together, so well orchestrated. There's so much going on. It flows so immense, so incredibly well, and it's so long. It's just, it's perfect, man. So, you guys said, are you gonna do 30 versions of this track? I'm gonna do every one I can find. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and you guys don't have to watch it, but I'm gonna really sit here in luxury. I love this track. I think more reactors should just do this straight music track, just the audio only. It's very insightful to understanding the track itself and then reacting to either End of an Era or Vakken, whatever you prefer, or both, you know? But uh, this is very integral, I think. And it's so, so, so good. I love this. So uh, you guys know I like the track, but now I know I like the original version a lot too. So anyway, let's jump into the next one together. It will be one with Taria. I found a couple. And so we're going to do that. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> The podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.